right. Well, thank you, Captain. Hello and hello again. Welcome to the LivingStrongTV.com radio broadcast where I am your host, Prophet Johnson. Call that friend, that neighbor, and indeed let them know that Living Strong is on. And we're in that fastest 30 minutes, and it starts right now. Now, let me go ahead and say that um, in case we have, you know, forgotten about some things, uh, we must remember that at this moment, we are also still in what, they, what, is, what is a pandemic, uh, COVID-19. And, and not only that, uh, but also the marches and the protesting that's been going on all around the world. And what we're seeing in this day and time is that each and every one of us needs an answer. And um, we, we kind of forget things, you know? And we kind of forget where our help may come from from time to time. But what we're experiencing right now is an outpour. And this outpour that we're experiencing is something that is unprecedented, never been seen before, and it's never happened. So we're going to kind of take it on the light side, just like, you know, we do, did last time and kind of take it easy here and um, just, just deal with a little bit of light things today because I, I sense that in this day and time, our focus is turning to God, but our focus is not yet on God. People, for some strange reason, are still, you know, kind of, you know, the old folks would say wishy-washy or still self-centered and seeking their own or whatever the case may be, but God is bringing together a universal order a universal call. And so when we go through life, you ever tried to get up and go to work and you forget about something? You, oh, Lord, I, especially your telephone. You get in the car, you're driving down the road. Oh, God, my telephone. Half of y'all about halfway, half a wreck, about make a U-turn in the road. Turn around. God, I got to get that phone. Jesus, Lord, help us. And you feel handicapped without it. You got to go get it. Or a person in a uniform leaves their hat. They got to go back and get it. And so in life, we've got to remember where we've come from. And we've got to have a focus or a vision on where we're going for where there is no vision that people perish. And out of all the things we remember in this life, there's one thing that I want to remind you of. Don't forget about Jesus. Don't forget Jesus. Now, I'm going to keep it very simple and just leave it right there. And the reason why I'm saying don't forget Jesus is because God is doing something so unique in this day and time. With love and kindness have I drawn thee. So what I want to do is get in the word and um, we're going to move forward. And I just want to talk about the bread of life. I want to talk about the blood. I want to talk about the sacrifice, the Savior. And just make mention to you that no matter what we're going through, no matter how bad it looks, God's glory is coming in. Oh, boy, I'm breaking up again already. It never seems to work no matter how hard I try. Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. But Jesus has got a way. Hallelujah of showing mankind how to be lifted up. Many of you would not have ever thought that Jesus would have been lifted up in the death or at the death of George Floyd. You wouldn't have thought 
that Jesus would have been lifted up at the death of Breonna Taylor. You wouldn't have thought that Jesus would have been lifted up at the death of Ahmaud Arbery in every single passing soldier that came from the land of Israel into Egypt right now flowing in American blood in the streets a cry in the land and somebody said well Prophet Johnson uh, I can remember my anniversary I can remember my wife or my husband or my children's birthday uh, oh Lord I can remember what day uh, I'm supposed to get paid on I know I'm not going forget, to forget that one but never Nevertheless, uh, there's some things in this life uh, that I need to remind myself. Uh, and what's that, Prophet Johnson? Uh, don't forget about Jesus. Uh, he is the way maker. Uh, and the Lord is saying the eyes of the Lord run to and fro uh, throughout the whole earth uh, to show and to seek and to show himself and to be strong on the behalf of those that walk upright before him. Uh, the Lord is saying, I've placed inside of you uh, a ministering right now a sword which is the word of the of, of God and I've given you the, according to my word the whole armor of God but what happened to the armor the, the armor of salvation the shield of faith the sword of the spirit having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and having on the breastplate of righteousness oh Lord and somewhere in your life your faith is is going to have to stop all the fiery darts of the wicked. <coughs> Let me say this. Because the Father showed me something. I, I, I get into worries in a minute. Y'all know how I am. I shouldn't have got fired up trying to be slow and dragging him. Father showed me something, preachers. Y'all hear this. Uh, and everybody, you hear this. Because, I, you know, again, I, I apologize that don't nothing line up with the word. I apologize that you got to go listen to some dead old desert, dried up, whatever that comes. I've been doing it. But I'm going to tell you something, leaders. Father shared with me and he said, prophet, he said, they're going to try to do it again. They're going to try to beat me again. They're going to try to ride it out. They're going to try to wave it out. They ready to go back into their own little dance, their own little show, their own little circumstances, their own little situation, their own little clicks and ticks. And they ready to open and do it their way all over again. Not discerning the Lord's body, not walking in the time that we're in, forgetting about the revelation of God and where he's brought us from. And God showed me, you got spirits out there that here this gospel and they can't this they, they they despise the word of the Lord can't stand the truth jealous of the anointed and they get upset with the word when it begins to come but you done did everything else we done built everything else and now what is God saying smile and style and, and racial profiling the days are coming to an end oh for there's a way to seeming right to a man, but the ends there are are the ways of death. And the Lord said, they're going to try to play me again. And they're going to come on out again. But he said, the real wave and the real revival is about to take place because it's first starting in the heart of men. Black folks, white folks, Hispanics, Chinese, Mexican, Asian, and people from every kindred and every generation and every tongue and every nation uh, is marching for the truth uh, and letting us know uh, that we got our eye on the sparrow. Uh, it's time to live right. Uh, it's time to forgive uh, and it's time to hold accountable uh, the system of this world. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, 400 years said the Lord uh, but whom the Lord has set free uh, is free indeed. Uh, I come that you might have life uh, and have it more abundantly. But the Lord is saying right now, uh, I'm not going to wait till tomorrow. I'm not waiting on a prayer. I'm not looking for a praise. I'm not even waiting on your worship. Uh, the Lord said, whoever says now, Lord, uh, now faith is. Uh, whoever said do it now, uh, I can't 
wait. The Lord is saying, I'm setting you free right now. That's why I said now. He said, I'm delivering you right now. Just like I said now. And the Lord said, I'm going to restore your family. I'm going to restore your finances. I'm going to restore your name. And I'm going to restore your liberty. And I'm about to bless sevenfold. Because when the thief is caught, he's got to return sevenfold. Y'all excuse me. I got to shut on down now and read a little. Here it is. Captain, I didn't expect to get excited. Uh, but wait, wait, I go in the golly go there. Just a loss. Here, uh, John chapter number six. Y'all know how I am. Verse number 25. After Jesus done walked on the water, said, it is I, be not afraid. You know, and, and there go Peter. Lord, if you let me come. He go walking, looking at everything else. John 6 and 25. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? I mean, you know, Master, when did you show up? The Jesus, where'd you come from? Don't forget Jesus. Jesus answered and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you seek me not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled. Jesus said, you only sought me for what could fill your belly. You didn't seek me for the miracles. We don't have folks praying for miracles. God give a miracle. Lord send a healing to COVID-19. Lord allow, hallelujah, the Holy Ghost to let somebody, Prophet Johnson, anybody, lay hands, anoint with Alpha and Omega. And if we come in contact with anything, when they see the blood, they got to pass over us. Alpha, Omega, the circle in the cross. Something is happening right now. The Lord, Oh God, here we go again. The Lord said, I'm giving you a return victory a return promise and the Lord said I'm blending you in that's right I'm blending you in and I'm making you the mixture of life so that you don't be judged by your hallelujah by the color of your skin but you'll be judged by your character by your integrity by the fact that you walk up right before the Lord and the Lord is saying now the truth has come forth and is setting mankind free like never before now you must understand living strong viewers and listeners of the radio broadcast 94.7 FM WAAW the Roar station that roar like a lion in the street and you must understand that God will never leave you nor forsake you and all that call upon the Lord he will answer them and and show them great and mighty things that they know not of. The best is yet to come. Your purpose, your agenda, your life, your love, it's time to reign supreme. And I'm going to give it to you straight. One man for one woman. And that's it. It's time to roll on. Here it is. Uh, uh, verse n number uh, 27. Uh, uh, labor. Look at what Jesus said. What are we working for? Don't forget about Jesus. Labor not for the meat which perish. You see, what are we looking for? Now, what is God doing? There's a divine unification taking place. Folks, brothers and sisters in Christ, I got great news for you. You're about to see the coming revival structure. And when the church opens back up, you're going to see black folks and white folks and all type of people, yellow, green, blue, and purple. You're going to see those folks coming together, brothers, and they're going to come together in love. See, it ain't going to be no fake stuff this time. It ain't going to be that old charlatan behind the scene. And that's all there is to it, you see. And let me say something to the, oh, God, I can't say that. We're on the radio. Lord, help us. God, forgive us. Anyway, I was about to say something to a certain species of people. And you got to understand that, that God blessed us all. He made all of us in his image. Okay? And that's all I'm going to say. Um, verse number. That's what I do when I get lost. Verse number 27 again. <coughs> Labor not for the meat which perisheth but for that meat which endured unto everlasting life. This is what we're after. That's the word of God. 
Every time you tune into this broadcast, what are you doing? You're eating from the table of everlasting life. You're not forgetting God. You see, God, Jesus is going to feed you something, just like he fed me. Hallelujah. Which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath God the Father sealed. See, God has sealed you and I until the day of redemption. That's why you can't go anywhere. You can't run from God. I tell you what, you just can't. I've, I've, I've tried everything. But here's what I want to remind you of. Remember, the four omigos. Now, y'all know I, I brought it out here first, and we brought this stuff out a long time ago. Actually, this movement, um, it, 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 and the message of this movement, y'all excuse me, and I just got to give it to you straight, is about 20 years behind Prophet Johnson, and it's also about every since living strong, seven years, six, seven years, behind the living strong. Because the four omigos, evil, hatred, racism, and murder, okay? I'm not going to get too deep. I told you that God was going to expose this in the nation all over the world. We said it a million times. And I talked about the agents of this world. You see, and this is how you got to understand that it's worked. You got to see it this way. You just It's simple. It's real simple, folks. This is how it works. What happens is that hatred shows up. Hatred talks to racism. And hatred and racism says, this is what we are going to do. So when hatred and racism get together, then they go and they speak with evil. Evil get in and ride with hatred and, 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 and racism and say, we're going to pick up murder. Once they pick up murder, they make their target. Once they get their target, they then carry out the evil of hatred, racism, and murder in the land. It is so very simple to see this. So what is God doing? He's dealing with the four omigos, as I told you about. He's dealing with what? Evil, that's right. He's dealing with what? Hatred, say it. He's dealing with murder, come on. And he's dealing with the last one, racism, you see. You got those four. And once your heart begin to transform and turn away from those four omigos, that's when life is going to begin to take place like never before. God had to allow a blatant, flat-out truth to come to the whole world because the whole world is dealing with this problem. So he had to allow a martyr you know, not, a, not a, a, a perfect man, but a flawed man like you and I to be taken in the sight of all the world just like Jesus was. Okay, now this is not no Jesus, believe me, uh, they, <laughs> thank God, you know. But just like Jesus was that. And so it's just like that. And so God had to openly expose the whole world so that we can forgive. You see, so no matter what happened, and I'm going to make mention of the name to Brother uh, George Floyd, we as a people, we as a nation, no matter what color we are, don't get upset with me. I'm going to say it. We must forgive every last one of those agents of this world that expired Mr. Floyd. So once we forgive, and we begin to love. And we've been, you say, Prophet Johnson, we've been doing it. I know it. I know it. But we're going to do it again and again and again. Because without love, we can't see God. And we have got to have that love. Because God is love. And I thank him that now we're going to come together lifting holy hands, giving praise unto the Lord. Don't forget Jesus. Then said they unto him, verse number 28, what shall we do that we might work the works of God? How many people do you hear say that today? They don't say that. They don't say what we, can we do that we might work the works of God. They say what can we do that, that we might work the works of God to get some money. You know, Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God 
that you believe on him whom he has sent. Number one, believe on me. Don't forget me. You, you, you hear that, Captain? That's all Jesus said. Don't, you, you, will y'all please not forget me? Forget that I'm in control of all this. I'm in charge of all of this. This is the planet of the children. We're nothing but the seed time and harvest. We got worlds that we go conquer. I'm going to get in trouble now, boy. I, I just want to go on a space adventure with you. At 30 seconds. We got worlds that we going to be in control of. Jesus is going to say to somebody like uh, uh, Sister Janet, Sister Janet, um, Janice, will you, will you go over there to uh, the 19 galaxy Ilium and check out the planets? And, and you're just <laughs> one person, you know? you everywhere. You, you, you're over in, 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 the, in the 33rd universe of the 14th parallel order of light. And so there you are over there. You know, you say, Prophet Johnson, where you going to be? he probably have me on the moon, mad the moon rocks. <laughs> I like to think about that. But um, I chased that rabbit because it, it's really true. And Father won't let me go too deep into this with y'all. Because he won't allow me to go into Deep Space Nine, even though I don't like Star Wars, never watch Star Trek, <laughs> don't make any sense to me. The Force be with us, it's always been with us. And so I don't know really anything about Star Wars, the Dark Vader, and Luke Skywalker, and all them folks, and the Queen, none of that stuff. I never really seen a whole Star Wars movie. You say, Prophet Josh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I have no interest in it. The reason why is because I go to the stars. <laughs> and I do the wars into the heavens. You say, Prophet Johnson, yes, I've been there. You don't say uh, where, uh, no, how many times, okay? And you, you wouldn't believe what Jesus Christ will show you once you walk up right before him. He will take you places and show you things that you've never seen before. This is for the deep folks, okay? And um, there are worlds <laughs> beyond human comprehension. Good Lord. Are you talking about beautiful? Oh, God. Y'all, we are living in a natural born, a natural beat up garbage can from Adam. This is a this is an old uh, uh, church junkyard. Uh, and God is, that's why he's going to restore it all. This is an old beat up, raggedy old junk up place. <laughs> that's why when people die, oh, I, oh God, I went, it, this stuff is true. They, they don't want to come back here. We don't want to come back here. This is nothing. And, um, and Jesus just so happened to bless me to be able to have some experiences that most mankind will never experience on this earth. So I don't have to watch a movie. I am the movie. That you better believe when it comes to Star Wars. <laughs> Been there, see those things. Even the Milky Way galaxy. That you better believe. And also, would you believe, the Lord said, shut up, prophet. He's saying, shut up, you're going too deep. Y'all, I'm going to stop scaring y'all, okay? We're going to leave that alone. Take all the mistakes for love. I'm still a Baptist. But you're going to be surprised at what God has got in store for you. God, Cap, I'm going to chase this rabbit. Y'all, excuse me. But you're going to love eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither have entered into the hearts of men the things that God has prepared for them, but yet is revealed unto us through his spirit. God got so much prepared for y'all. Oh, my Lord Jesus. Who you talking about white, glistening. Your robe is so bad. That little dingy little choir dress you got and that little old musky outfit that we don't hardly wash from singing in 30 choirs and traveling all over to the world. This, this is so, I'm getting in trouble, but I got to share this because this is so glorious until the, 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 the uh, fabric glistens with light of white. And it, 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 it glistens. And I, I've never seen nothing like it. Uh, good Lord Jesus, I don't want to talk about them. Can't y'all see I get excited talking about that? Well, Prophet Johnson, that's right. I said we was going to bump around and take it on the light side. Why? Because we've got to remember, don't forget about Jesus, no matter what we go through. Here it is. I'm going to read real fast so we can finish. Uh, verse number 30. Um, 
And they said, therefore, unto him, what sign showest thou then that we may see and believe thee? Or what doest thou? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Je then Jesus, verse number 32, one of my favorite scriptures here in 33. Then Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father gave give it you the true bread from heaven for the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and give it his life unto the world then said they unto him Lord evermore give us this bread in other words give us yourself I am the bread of life and Jesus answered and said unto them I am the bread of life and he that coming unto me shall never hunger and he that believe it on me shall never thirst but I said unto you that you also have seen me and believe not do you still believe all that the father giveth me shall come to me in him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven, listen to this, not to do mine own will. Now whose will are we doing? Are we doing God's will or are we doing our will? But the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which he has sent me that all of all that which he has given me I should lose none. Not one of you going to be lost uh, that said, Lord Jesus, come into my life, uh, but shall raise it up again uh, at the last day. Uh, and that's what God is saying. Uh, prepare your heart uh, and prepare your mind uh, because we getting ready to go up. Uh, the Lord is saying uh, the trumpet is about to sound. Uh, and if the trumpet make a sudden sound, uh, who shall be ready for battle uh, and who shall be able to stand at the glory of the coming of the Lord which is about to pierce the earth mankind seem to have gotten the eyes off the prize we're marching in the street in the midst of a pandemic but the people are saying what good is fear in the midst of death itself and it's time to fight for life and what God is saying is that I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly because what I'm about to do I'm about to flip the switch because when the thief is caught he's got to return sevenfold revelation coming cold it coming the thief has been caught in America excuse me the thief have been caught in the street and what is God saying now that he's exposed everybody that he done robbed from every life that he done took he's got to return sevenfold for the thief will come in one way but he's got to flee seven different ways and the Lord is saying I'm breaking up the block party and I'm coming back after church without a spot a wrinkle or a blemish and it's time for somebody to say Lord, I'm going to push my way through this and I'm going to praise my way through it and I'm going to worship my way through it because if you're not first, then don't nothing else matter. I remember everything else that happened in my life, but it seemed like we forgot about Jesus. We remember this. We remember that. But God is saying, don't forget about the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings that come that you might have life and have it more abundantly Shay. so when there's a determination to make it the Lord is saying I'm going to give you forward progress I'm going to give you forward progress and I'm going to land you hallelujah in the place of father's will my time is running out and since my time is up I'm not going no further. I want y'all to repeat after me again. My time is running out. Father, I'm a sinner. Forgive me for my sins. And I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'm going to see you next time. Don't forget the message. Don't.
forget Jesus. I'll see y'all next week. Bye. I'm wider, I'm stronger, and my hope.